Hi, everyone, and welcome to the big house. This massive crowd assembled here today to cheer on the Wolverines, already chanting, Go Blue. We've got a terrific matchup for you today. Fans have gotten here early, and they are ready to get this game underway. As we'll see a team from the Sun Belt, the Arkansas State Red Wolves, taking on the ninth-ranked team, the Michigan Wolverines. 3A Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Wolverines will kick it away to start us off. Fielded in the end zone. It's cross. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. So the Arkansas State Red Wolves offense comes on the field first today. We'll see if this quarterback can get off to a great start, Kirk. So much for this offense and this whole team, really, orbits around him. Yes, sir. The de facto Mr. Center of the Universe. It's his world when he's out there, and it's up to him to create and demonstrate the details on the field. His team, his way. Can't wait to see what he does today. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game, but boy, nice job by this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. Takes the handoff again. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. You see, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. And it's really solid defense on that play. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. Boy, an opportunity missed here by this defense. They get them to third down. They load up the line of scrimmage, but they could not deny this back of coming up with that conversion. The Red Wolves starting a new series here on first and ten. Back to throw. It's Rayner. Can they stop him? And he's wrapped up after a solid return. Nice job by this defense jumping on that football to come up with the interception. And not exactly how this quarterback envisioned this game starting. His very first throw of the game, he puts into traffic and he costs his team in a big way. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wideout. He pulls it in for a big game. Touchdown, Wolverines. Strong game by this quarterback. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. Lining up to try the extra point. And it's 7-0 after the PAT. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And they've got the returner corralled. The Arkansas State offense back on the field now. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession ended in a pick. We'll give it to the running back. They get him to the ground about the 18-yard line. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. The game makes it second and medium. There's the handoff. 
They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. I'll tell you, this defense continues to just be physical at the line of scrimmage. Offense can't do anything on the ground, and by doing that, this defense is allowing their defensive front to get pressure on the quarterback. Every time they drop back to throw, they become a one-dimensional offense. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. In a big game before he goes out of bounds, the offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. And they'll run it with the draw play. And they keep the drive going. It's a first down to the 46. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big, positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of it. And the Red Wolves are moving quickly down the field. Motion by the back. Defense better adjust. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And you'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. But that's exactly what defense coordinators love to see. You've got a quarterback that typically is known for his ability to cover, and here he shows some physical toughness by sticking his nose in there, and he comes up with a nice play and support. Getting set. Here's second down. Back to throw. It's Rayner. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. It's caught downfield. Tackle made, but it's a huge gain all the way to the 33-yard line. Well, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. The Red Wolves looking to crank up the tempo a bit. The shotgun handoff here. He shreds the tackle. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. They're moving the receiver now before the snap. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. You know, to me, Chris, with this offense, it's almost an extension of their running game. You put the receiver out in motion, you flip the ball out to him, out to the outside, let him do what he does best, which is use his instincts, and he picks up a first down. And the Red Wolves will have first and ten here. They call the counter run here. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from a first down. Love those positive yards on first and ten, and it's not quite a first down. Looks like it'll bring second and inches, but sure does open up the playbook here to be able to open up, maybe take a shot downfield. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Keeping it on the ground here. Touchdown, Arkansas State. He would not be denied. Kirk, they were backed up to start the drive, but some bold play calling, great execution, and they reach the end zone. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown. And now they'll set up for the point after. And the PAT is good. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. 
finding some room with the 25. Tackle made after a big game. How about setting the edge there on the right side of that offensive line? I wouldn't be surprised if they keep going back to the well, pounding it behind that right guard and right tackle and tight end, seeing what additional damage they can do. The game moves the ball to the 39. It'll be first down. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that previous play. There's the handoff. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Challenging play for the offense. They face third and long here from their own 43. Looking to pass. It's Warren. Looks to the left. Pass caught. And they wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. Chris, I love the versatility of this running back. We're seeing what he can do on full display on this drive. He's been running the football very well. This time, they get him the ball out of the backfield, catching it, and he gets another positive gain. The Wolverines pick up first down yardage to keep the drive going. Takes the handoff. It's Edwards. The gain is five, so it's second and five now. I'll take that every single time. Offensive line does a nice job up front. This backs vision and ability to get positive yards by lowering his pads on full display right there. The game makes it second and medium. Play action fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. He makes the grab. Tackle made at the 26-yard line. This offense getting closer to the red zone. That's a nice completion here by this Michigan offense. And when Michigan is really clicking, you think about over the years, they've been efficient within that passing game. Being able to throw the football to complement a very physical running game. Nice play. Quick throw caught on the left side. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards. Sets up a nice second and two. Now the receiver does all the work here. Man, that is easy living for this quarterback. Really good footwork by the receiver. Gets the separation. And at that point, it's just pitch and catch for the quarterback. And the Wolverines trying to cash in here in the red zone. And they'll use the ground game here. Tackle, but first down. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the ones that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? They'll try the right here. And the offense going backwards in that play. Defense makes a stop to wrap up the first quarter. That has been in large part to the Lions on the ground game, which has been featured from both sides in this one so far. And as we move to the second quarter, we hope these teams will build a promising start. Now play number nine on this drive. Takes the ball and heads to the left side. Now uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. That was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. This will be the tenth play of the drive, but it's third and long. To throw, it's Warren. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Michigan. Well, that's just textbook right there. Great timing and recognition by the quarterback. Great route by this receiver. He gave a nice stem to the outside before he went to the post. Perfect timing, tough to defend, and an easy touchdown for this offense.
So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point gives them a 14-7 lead. Now they get set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. Here comes the Red Wolves offense back out there. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? And the quarterback keeps it here. Breaking tackles. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. I'll give them credit. They didn't lose anything, so it wasn't a negative play. But this kind of play's got to be able to hit big and get down the sidelines for big yards. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. On the move, but can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Chris, I really felt the quarterback came off the fake a little bit too quick. The defense didn't bite at all on the play action. They saw the quarterback had the ball, attacked, and got the sack. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. And he pulls in the catch. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. Well, you wonder if the receiver adjusted his route to get closer to that first down line. Whatever he did, it works. Move the sticks. The Red Wolves with first and 10 here. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They've got him down out near the 40. Chris, it's the consistency of this back is giving this defense a fix. They've got to come up with some changes up front. This guy's already over 50 yards, and if he keeps running the way he is, not only is he having a great day, but it's going to give this quarterback a chance to hit some big plays downfield off play action. Receiver in motion now. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Well, I thought he might shake three there. He's able to break one tackle, but give credit to the secondary. Good job of coming up and run support. The offense now looking at a third and short in their own 40, trying to keep this drive going. Looking to throw. It's Rayner. Fires it to the wideout. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. On third and short, the offense coordinator has his entire playbook open. You could run it, or you could throw it. Either one's available. They chose to go through the air here, but just not able to hit it. And the Red Wolves will have to punt this one away. And this one will be fair caught. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They scored a touchdown on their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. On the ground, it's Edwards. There's the tackle, but first down yardage. Of course they're going to pick up the first down by running the football. You think about Michigan, you think so many legacy, incredible backs that they've had over the years. Tim Biakabatuka and Tyrone Wheatley and Leroy Horde. Man, so many good backs have come through Ann Arbor. It's a first and ten play coming up for the offense. He'll hand it off. They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. And off the deflection, it's caught. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. That quarterback put a little bit more on that football. I thought it was going to get in there, but give credit to the defense for getting a hand on the ball. 
but the presence of mind by the offense to come up with a completion. A completion makes it second and short. We'll try the ground game here with the running back. Good enough for first down yardage. It was a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. First down and 10 now. And here's the handoff. Oh, look at the quick cut. Breaks a tackle on the play and makes a decent gain. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back, it's Warren. Locates the tight end, it's complete. They stop him at the 22. This offense in great scoring position now. How many first downs is that on this drive? This defense allows one or two more drives like this, and they're going to be gassed by the third quarter. And it's a bunch formation. Oh, here comes the reverse. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, the backside rules for a defense against the run are to check for the cutback, the counter, or reverse. That time they stayed home and were in perfect position and were able to stop that reverse in its track. Important second down play coming up. Quarterback drops back. Caught over the middle. It's Loveland. But he's hammered by the linebacker. What a hit. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Offense thinking touchdown, not field goal, facing a third and long from the 20-yard line. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Launching one to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Wolverines. So the offense clicking now, Kirk, building the lead, and this one could get out of hand. Well, it's just complete domination. The offense is executing and doing their job, putting points on the board. The defense has shown up prepared, ready to play. It just feels like this game's getting sideways in a hurry. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. The Arkansas State offense back on the field now. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. And they begin to click now. It's a shotgun run call. Nowhere to run up the middle. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits. they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Here's the second down play. To throw, it's Rayner. Makes a quick grab. Man-to-man -man coverage. You run the drag route. You prefer to get the ball downfield, but the matchup called for at least some positive yards underneath, and he makes a nice throw. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. And he'll set up to throw. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Defense flies in. They make the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Timeout is called by the defense. That's their first of the half. Great job here by the defense of sniffing out this screen. You can see the defensive linemen, the linebackers, everybody running to that running back. Because of that team pursuit, it's a big loss for the defense. And the return man decides to signal fair catch. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. 
Look at now throwing here to start the drive. Oh, downfield catch made in the left side. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. The offense will set up on first and ten. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Touchdown, Michigan. This quarterback on fire today. Well, that's a well-oiled machine right there. Everyone on this offense has been a star in their roles. And when they're rolling like this, it results in quick and positive results. And they'll set up for the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. Turn starts from inside the five. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. Here comes the Red Wolves offense back out there. This has been a rough first half. They'll have to regroup in intermission. But in the meantime, let's see if they can get some momentum going. Grab down the middle. It's Jackson. Tackled at the 40. That'll learn a fresh set of downs. Well, it's got to start somewhere. And, and there's a nice first down to keep this drive alive and hope to be able to create a little bit of momentum here near the end of the first half, trying to cut into this lead and get some points on the board. The Red Wolves looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Scanning the field. It's Rayner. Tries the right with a quick throw. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass you've got to have to come up with and make a catch. So, second down after the incompletion. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. He's moving out of the pocket now. Gets into space at the 50. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. And the Red Wolves begin a new series here, first and ten. There's the snap, and he's looking to throw. Here's a shot toward the right sideline. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. Most offensive coaches will be happy taking those 50-50 shots against man coverage, but I'm curious to see if they're going to test this DB again after that coverage. Second down after the incompletion. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. And he's got it. They bring him down, but not before he gets inside the 30-yard line. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. A new set of downs after that completion. First down, looking to throw the football. Pulls it in. It's cross. The offense will call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Made the catch, but he was surrounded, Kirk. Not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. The Red Wolves looking to take advantage of the red zone trip here. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Makes the grab. It's cross. They get him down quickly. Not much of a gain on that completion. Hey, it's a game, but you get the sense that this offense wanted a little bit more from that play. 
Time ticking away. Time for just one more play before halftime. So a timeout is called. Just a few seconds left here in the first half. So on second down, they'll try it out the field goal unit, trying to get three before halftime. No problem. Knocks it right through. I was watching this guy in pregame. He has got a strong leg. Not surprised here he's able to put three points up here for the offense. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. He'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. And they get him down what will be the final play of this first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Guys, who has it better than you? Nobody. Not after that first half in Ann Arbor. An entertaining first half, and we've got a multi-possession lead to break down thanks to the surgical precision of this offense. Might honestly take more time to talk about what didn't work than what did. The running game, the passing game, gadget plays have worked. Now it's just a matter of finishing the job. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. And the Red Wolves will kick it deep to begin the second half. And here's the return from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments, come up with a stop here? And brought down at the line with that big defensive tackle. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Takes the handoff again. Throws a stiff arm. Breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact, but that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. That run sets up a critical third down play. To the air, it's Warren. Throws it to the right. He's got it for a big game. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Boy, this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. The Wolverines come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Boy, Chris, you watch a completion like that, and with the efficiency, it makes you kind of think back to all the quarterbacks and receivers that they've had who made it look this easy. Of course, you start with Tom Brady, but think of the year Brian Greasy had in 1997, that national championship year. Chad Henney going back to Elvis Kerback and all the great receivers. So this is within their history, and it's good that they're leaning on it. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll run it here. That's the running back with the ball. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. 
Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. You've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So it looks like they'll bring the field goal unit onto the field. And he knocks it right through the uprights. And they add to their lead. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. After adding three more points to the lead, they're set to kick it off. Fields it just outside the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. The Arkansas State offense back on the field now. Last possession produced a field goal. Let's see what they can come up with this time. And off running right. And the defense able to hold him there to a short game. Red Wolves will crank up the tempo. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Nothing doing in that play. The big D tackle there for the stop. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Urgency now for the offense that hate to come up empty on this drive down multiple scores. Looking downfield, it's Rayner. Sideline throw caught, but not enough for a first down. Well, this is a great catch. He does a nice job of getting his feet down to set up a fourth down and short situation. But man, I just don't know why he didn't try to fight to get to that marker and pick up a first down. And the Red Wolves will bring their punt team onto the field. Running it back, it's Morgan. Breaking through defenders. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. They've got the lead, but had to settle for a field goal last time out. They'd love to find the end zone here. He's taken down, but that's a nice gain. They'll spot the ball now at the 35. Boy, another nice gain by this back. He has had a beautiful day today running the football, just kind of in that zone, and a big reason why they have a nice lead today. First down here for this offense. There's the snap. Quarterback setting up the throw. Caught over the middle. It's Loveland. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. That's a good job here, staying ahead of the chains. Good pickup here on first down. The quarterback hits the safety valve that time. The big tight end. That'll bring up a second and manageable here for this offense. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Fakes the handoff. Looking to throw. Caught on the outside. It's Klein. Boy, this is great effort. I mean, he gets his foot down, but it's meaningless without the yardage to follow. So it's third and short from the opponent's 28. Let's see what the play call is here. They're already in field goal range, but thinking about the end zone. And they pick up the first on the ground. And this one goes nowhere. Lucky to get back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe this stop is an indicator of what's to come for this defense. The offense, frankly, has been able to enforce their will in the first half, but maybe things are starting to change. Looks like the coach decides to go for three points here. Here comes the field goal team. It's a fake, and they fake it and find the tight end. Took a shot, but the gamble doesn't work, and that decision will be questioned. They pass on the field goal try. Gonna run it. It's cross. They'll tackle him right at the 31. Now 
Now it's second down here. To throw, it's Rayner. Quarterback escapes the pocket and takes off. Breaks loose at the 45. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Man, it is fun to watch this guy get out in the open field. I didn't realize he could run like this. That's a big game for this offense. The Red Wolves hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. Play action here on first down. Quick throw over the middle. The tight end makes the catch downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Boy, they do a great job here on play action. The linebackers were completely fooled. Two or three steps up into the line of scrimmage, opened up a nice lane behind the backers, between the safeties, for the quarterback to make the read and a good throw downfield. In the red area, it's Cross. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. Chris, you know, the spread era over the years has always grown offensively. But I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Using the ground game here, tailback has the handoff. And that's a solid game before the defense able to bring him down. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Crucial. Third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going, or will they have to settle for three? Looking to pick up the first down through the air. It's a quick grab. Touchdown, Red Wolves. Strong game by this quarterback. That's a crucial response by this offense, but still plenty of work to do here in the third quarter. Well, I love that they're still fighting and competing. You can tell they've made some adjustments at half and try to get them back into this game. And that score is a great start. Now they line up to kick the extra point. And they convert the point after, but still trail by two touchdowns, 31-17. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Looks like he'll try to make a play with the return. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. It's a quarterback keeper. Tackled at the 32. That's enough for a first down. Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. And that run, good for first down yardage. The drive moves on. Pressure is coming. And it's incomplete, just out of the reach of the receiver. Incompletion sets up a second down. They're going to run it here. But only a one-yard gain, so it's third and nine coming up. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. Grab down the middle, it's Morgan. Tackle after he makes the first down as the seconds tick away here in the third quarter. 
and it's been an old school ground game duel. These running backs have been putting on a show so far today. So one final quarter to play. It's going to take a lot to turn this game around, but strange things do happen in college football. They'll hand it off. Breaking free at the 35. They bring him down, but not before he gets inside the 30-yard line. Now you're starting to see this defense, I think, wear down now that we're in the fourth quarter. It's been a tough day for them, and the offense is taking advantage of it. A lot of positive plays. Good job of eating as much clock as they can here on this drive in the fourth quarter. And then first down, right back to the running game. The pickup is seven yards, now it's second and three. That's exactly how you want to start this drive, working with the lead in the fourth quarter. Take as much time off this clock as possible. That's a great way to get this drive started. Second down play coming up for this offense. They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. He'll be brought down just a few inches short of that first down marker. The Wolverines are in the red zone. Gonna pick up the third and short through the air. Signs with the throw. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. How important was that touchdown, Kirk? It's now a two-possession game here in the second half. It's a great job of this offense with their execution and having situational awareness here in the second half. They now have, as you said, Chris, this two-possession lead. they got a great chance to finish it off and get a win. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point up and good. A three touchdown lead now here in the final quarter. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fields it inside the five yard line. And the coverage team able to bring him down. Here comes the Red Wolves offense back out there. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. Hey, it's positive yards, right? That, that's never a bad thing. But let's face it, Chris. These guys got a long way to go in a short amount of time to do it. So let's get the ball downfield and let's get out of bounds to try to preserve that clock. First down, looking to throw the ball. Caught quickly. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid gain. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. That completion makes it second and short. Looking to pass, it's Rayner. Who's a wide open receiver complete. They bring him down, but not before an explosive play through this offense through the air. Hey, this offense isn't giving up. Yeah, we're in the fourth quarter. You're down big. But who knows? Make a big play. And try to get in the end zone. Maybe get an onside kick. And the Red Wolves come to the line in the hurry up. Quick pass, the catch is made. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Boy, a wide receiver screen can be hit or miss. Either receiver finds a nice crease and picks up big yards, or the defense completely negates that. The team speed from the defense here wins that play. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. On the ground, it's cross. 
He'll try to run inside, but nowhere to go. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. And he'll drop back here on third down. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Arkansas State. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, makes it pretty simple. All he had to do was get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. Now the try here for the extra point. And it's good. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. Their last possession was a beautiful, balanced touchdown drive. Can the defense come up with answers this time? It's just the middle to get stopped. That one goes nowhere. Well, let's see how these guys do here. They're kind of in that four-minute offense mode where they're trying to work as much clock as they can on this drive, working with the lead. Still want to be balanced as best you can, but the important thing is picking up first downs, keeping the ball in bounds, and keep working that clock. Back to pass. It's Warren. Testing the defense with a throw downfield. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, he's unable to hold on to the football. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to... Deep ball is caught for a huge game here. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. And he takes it all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath, just like this. And when he catches the football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point up and good. A three touchdown lead now here in the final quarter. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. The Arkansas State offense back on the field now. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Caught over the middle, it's Jackson. And it's good for a first down to the 36. How about the offense here dialing up a good zone beater? Let's give credit to the coordinator for calling the right play at the right time and the receiver finding the hole in that zone. So quickly, all the way up to the 36 in his first down. Looking downfield, it's Rayner. It's a deep throw down the right sideline. But this one is broken up, falls incomplete. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Hit those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. 
offense getting set. Second down play here. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Delivers from the pocket complete over the middle. Offensively, you get to the fourth quarter, you're down in a game. You're thinking about vertical shots and getting out of bounds to try to stop the clock. If I'm a defensive coordinator, I'll give that up all game long. Short little routes, tackling them inbounds. Let's keep that clock moving. The Red Wolves come to the line looking to crank up the tempo. Looking to chuck it again. Here's the throw deep downfield. That deep shot is caught for a big game. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. And the Red Wolves pick up enough for a first down here. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. He's moving out of the pocket. Quarterback on the move, trying to make something happen. And he's brought down there. Here comes the up-tempo offense. Dropping back, it's Rayner. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. Chris, not only really good coverage here by the defense, but I love their awareness. That ball is in the air, headed to the end zone, and the ball is separated from the receiver with the contact. Now it's third and short in the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. Tries the right with a quick throw. Touchdown, Red Wolves. This quarterback on fire today. That's another passing strike from this quarterback. He is having himself a tremendous ball game. Boy, this guy just can't miss. Every single time he throws, it seems like he's coming up with another touchdown. The receivers are running good routes. He has enough time to throw. And man, this poor defense, they might want to think about changing up coverage. Because right now, it is not working. Here comes the point after attempt. And there's the point after. I believe they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the hands seem able to make the crucial recovery. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. They take the field with serious momentum. They have been tough to stop so far. Can they keep it going? Finds room at the 30. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Well, the big fellows, Kirk, flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge game. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back, just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right. And then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big gain and a first down. Different pre-snap look from the linebackers now. And the Wolverines looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. And, of course, they'll work the clock here, keep it on the ground. They've got him after a seven-yard game, so second and three. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. On the run, it's Edwards. The game moves the football to the six-yard line. It'll be first down and goal. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. First down and goal here. A touchdown just about puts this game on ice. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Touchdown, Wolverines. 
Still no answer for this offensive machine. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point up and good. A three touchdown lead now here in the final quarter. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Bringing it out. It's Cross. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Here comes the Red Wolves offense back out there. This thing is so out of hand. All you can do now is play for a little shred of pride. Short throw complete to the tight end. And he's marked out of bounds after an excellent game. But there is a flag on the field. This one might be coming back. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The short completion of the tight end. They stopped the receiver, but that's a solid gain on that play. Hey, there's the execution that's been lacking most of this game, but they'll take it. You know, you try to do everything that you can to learn and try to build for the future. And at this point in the game, it's obviously over, but you love to see the offense coordinator still giving this quarterback opportunities. Dropping back, it's Rayner. He's running out of time here. They've got him. It's a sack for the defense. It is a sack party out there for this defense. Everything going their way. You know that this offense is going to try to throw the football down by such a big margin late in the game. And this defensive line is bringing the heat. They come up with another sack. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. Third down play here out of the shotgun. And it's complete downfield. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, this offense has a long way to be able to get back and potentially win this game. But they're doing the right things, managing the clock, picking up good yards, and getting out of bounds. The Red Wolves lining up here on first and ten. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Arkansas State. That's just nice execution. Quarterback and receiver Kirk perfectly in sync that time. Yeah, you can see why route running is one of the most underrated attributes of a receiver. It's easy to get caught up on their ability to catch or their vertical or their speed, but nothing substitutes for someone who can create separation like this before the ball's even thrown. And they get set now to try the PAT. And he knocks it right through. Formation would indicate they're going to try the onside kick here. And the receiving team makes the recovery. The hands team does its job perfectly. So with the lead secure here, it's time to just take a knee, run out the clock, and plan the victory celebration.